When we do a left or right endpoint approximation, it can be a little inconvenient to have to write out everything. And so for that, we can use some uh, other notation to help us out. And the notation we're going to use is summation notation, which uses the capital letter, Greek letter, sigma. Uh, this symbol, for math purposes, says sum or added up. Now, on the bottom, you'll see an, a variable with a starting value, so this says we're going to do a sum for values of i starting at 1, and at the top we put our ending value, something like 6. Here we're going to put whatever expression we're going to add up. So like if I said i squared, this would mean add up i squared for values of i starting at 1, ending at 6, incrementing by 1 each time. So we start out with a value of 1, 1 squared, and then we're going to add to that the next value of i, so 2 squared, then 3 squared, then 4 squared, then 5 squared, and then 6 squared, and we end at 6 there. Okay? And so this is summation notation. Um, so if you think about how we added, found uh, left endpoint approximations, for example, if we had a function here, and here's a and here's b, uh, then, it, remember we found the width of our subdivisions by saying the width of my subdivision is the total width, b minus a, divided by the number of subdivisions. So then we would divide up into a bunch of little rectangles. So, for example, if we did the left endpoint approximation, uh, the very first place I'd evaluate the function, my first rectangle there, would be delta x wide and f of a tall. My next rectangle would be delta x wide and f of, well, now we need to know what this x value is. Well, this width is delta x, and so this location here is a plus a delta x. For my next rectangle, delta x wide, f of, well, now we are 2 delta x is over, so a plus 2 delta x, and so on and so forth. Now, this gets tedious to write out, so we can use that summation notation. First thing we'll do is we'll factor out the delta x, and now we're adding up these function values. Uh, so all these function values are a plus nothing, a plus 1 delta x, a plus 2 delta x, then 3 delta x, and so on. So it's a plus some number of delta x's, where we start with 0 delta x's, and in the very end, we'd be adding n minus 1 delta x's, where n is our number of subdivisions. Right? It's n minus 1 because uh, we're on the left side there. So this is how we can represent the left endpoint approximation using n subdivisions using summation notation. Now similarly, if we used the right endpoint approximation, what would be different? Well, instead of my first value being a plus no delta x's, I'd be evaluating the function first on the right side, uh, which would be a plus 1 delta x. So the right endpoint approximation would be delta x sum from 1 to n f of a plus i delta x. So notice this part doesn't change, just we're starting at 1 delta x uh, over and ending up at n delta x is over, which is the same thing as b. Okay, so there's the summation notation form uh, of the left and end right endpoint approximations.